All right, guys, what's up? So yes, got a webcam. Don't know if I use it anymore. I, you know, I said I'm going to use it. I said I didn't use it, but you know what? I'm using it tonight because this little turn around was fucking insane. No, like, I can't find the words to describe what just fucking happened in the weapons of mass destruction. I said last week. I said, you know what? This is probably just going to be another one of those things where it's a hardcore match. Or any, you know, anything goes. No hold barge type. And they're just going to go out there and pretty much name it differently. Well, they didn't. They fucking meant what they said. Holy shit. They had a fucking a big ass gun out there. They had military stuff. Big old military crates and shit. You know, we'll get to that match at the end. Because it was the main event. We'll save it for the end of the show. Um, so, our first matchup was Dr. Wagner Jr. versus... Masquerita Sagrada. Why the fuck does he even have to face this dude? The first two matches were squash mas matches, and of course, Dr. Wagner Jr. got this one. Him and uh, Mr. Four Two Three get fame. He's yeah, I like that dude. He's he's funny, uh, famous B. So that was a quick and easy match. You know, no no big actual fight. Um, we had Arhenis versus. Mel Mortez, and that's this. Mel Mortez is the one guy in Lucha Underground that I just do not like. You know, I don't, I don't like this. I just don't. I have. I don't know. I don't like the dude at all. And I've said this before in my last reviews, last season. I don't like the dude, and I don't care what anybody says. I'm never going to like the dude. It's, it's just I don't know. But he beats Arhenis too in another quick squash match. The only thing Arhenis really gets was a uh, moonsault. But after that. Fucking Memoirs just throws him across the ring, hits the flatliner, and it's over. That quick. First two matches were quick, and they just saved, like, that's where it was like 25 minutes all on the main event. Like, holy shit. Crazy. I got hair flying everywhere. Sorry about that, guys. Need a haircut, but whatever. Um. Holy shit. So, you know, we'll say, we'll, we'll talk about these vignettes, you know. The whole Dyer Cueto thing got bought, got out of jail, and the whole war's coming, and we find out that fucking Joey Ryan is a like he's with Dyer Cueto now. He's done with being a cop. He sold out, Mister uh, Cisco. I mean Castro, whatever his name is. It's not right, but you know what? I expect Joey Ryan to be the one who would do that to you know Mister Cisco, whatever, instead of. You know, Castro doing it to him. It made sense because Joey Ryan fits that character well. Uh, so it seems like she suspended Mr. Castro. Castro, the cop, lady chick cop did. And now he's supposedly, and I don't know, it's it's weird. You have to f follow real closely. Um, you know, sometimes I really follow along with these, you know, movie type scenes and see what's going on outside of the wrestling stuff. But I just didn't feel, I, didn't, I don't like these cop ones. You know, like, I, I mean, I like the stuff last year where, uh, that chick was fighting Dragon Azteca and stuff like that. I mean, that was pretty good, I'd have to say. I don't really like this cop stuff, but, um, we were getting the main event. So, quick review all the way up until then, because the main event was just insane. Oh, my God. So, they just, the first, Marty and Martha comes out. Creepy bastard. Creepy bastard comes out. We'll talk about why, why the hell he's a creepy bastard later on <laughs> oh my gosh but here comes uh kill shot just right away beats the shit out of him throws him over there and they have a fucking big ass gun just hits it in the face of marty the moth and he's already busted open with like not even a minute into the match and well marty the moth gets back in control just throws him right into the ring post like just destroyed him and then well here comes kill shot throws him you know how you know they kind of like throw one of the like over into the state into the chairs of Michael Cole and all them. Well, he did that. He fucking picked Marty the Moth up and fucking slung him like one of them Olympic hurlers. Like holy shit, he destroyed him. Like holy crap. So, and then we I, like I saw the the, the craziest uh, ladder shot. Like you know how when they fall into the ladder, they can you know, I'm just saying you you know you notice know, they kind of put their head arm down so they don't. Totally destroy the face. Well, kill shot. I mean, he. Oh my God, 
he went and just went boom right on the freaking ladder it was insane they fight up into the crowd of all things after Mighty the Moth throws Melissa into whatever her name is I think it's Melissa right Santos throws it right into kill shot Mighty the Moth's fighting up and here comes kill shot up there tries to kick him in the face Mighty the Moth grabs his leg straight for the yam bags yeah throwing in the whole Taz reference that's the best word to use I think it's funny when Taz used to say that and the whole let the pigeons look great stuff but um the fans are chanting creepy bastard and it's just insane uh loser on the ground man they're fans they're never gonna let you down like they're always gonna have these loud ass chants no matter what man it's insane and then and then to me golf segment over here Matt Striker is the best commentator in wrestling number one I, I really like Morello, but Matt Striker it is insane he's I mean it's crazy how much how great he is I'd say but we gotta get back into the match here we go Marty the Moth let's go finally oh my god and Killshot's walking away so here comes Marty the Moth back at him Killshot hits him with a knee like just like swears directly to the fucking nose and this dude's this fan standing over him just telling him to suck it the whole time like it was hilarious while they're chanting creepy bastard oh my gosh <laughs> It was insane. So Marty the Moth had the ladder set up, right? And Killshot dumps him, like, just fucking boom, right over onto the ladder. Throws him into the ring. And fucking hits... What, what was it called? Like, that driver he hit was insane. Like, he just had him up, and then he just flips him over. I'm like, what the fuck is that? But the dude kicked out. Not, not seeing that at all. I didn't see that happen. You know, whatever. Uh, I think I might have been after... The whole where kill shot. Oh my god! Like hit him and they flew over off the top of one of them crates. Like what the fuck? Marty the Moth power bombs him from the ring to two tables set up in the house, just fucking right out over the top rope through the tables, and kill shot still kicked out. I'm like fucking let's go. Kill shot gets on the top rope and Marty the Moth sitting up on the ground. Okay, he's sitting up. Stomped right in the chest. Like, holy shit. Insane, right? Oh my god. So then he hits that driver thing. And they set up... Marty the Moth gets back control of the match. Sets up the ladder. And they're both kind of climbing up, right? Here comes Marty the Moth's sister, Mariposa. And he's trying to... She's trying to take Killshot off the ladder and put him through a table. And, you know, probably be over after that. Well, no. Killshot says, fuck you. Kicks her off. Straight through a table. Here comes Killshot. Rips the dog tags off. And hits, oh yeah, he Marty the Moth is standing. It's like a 20 foot ladder, right? He's standing in the middle rungs, right? Here comes Kill Shot. He's standing there, more double boots, but this time, and then through the fucking ladder. And one, two, three, it's over. Holy shit! Best match. I don't think I don't, I don't know if anything else is gonna top this in season three. I don't know how they're gonna do it. This was good, but one thing. I just remember talking about this that I missed in the early in the part where Memortes, Prince Puma and Memortes, they got back at it again. Uh, Prince Puma, sadly, this is last season. Pretty sure we all know by now that he's probably heading over to NXT. Um, but he attacks Memortes, and so, like, probably like the biggest rivalry in, excuse me, Lucha Underground history is starting back up again. I'm fine with that. Ultima Lucha won. Memortes shouldn't have won the match. Fuck him. Like I said, I didn't like the dude. Just one thing I had to say about Mem uh, Marty the Moth, dude. His his character is fucking awesome. It could not be played by any better of a person. The whole time he's beating Killshot, he's screaming at him, telling him to die, just die. Like holy shit. Oh shit! There was another thing I missed from that insane main event. So Marty the Moth grabbed his yam bags. Well, Killshot grabbed Marty the Moth's yam bags on the top of the fucking line just squeezing I'm like you have no kids sir I mean he's just squeezing the fucking life out of your hand bags and and I feel sorry for both of them because holy shit oh my god you know I'm gonna be honest, I did not watch my interval did not watch part Thursday Tuesday night Smackdown you know when you watch this it is better than raw Smackdown come on just probably the main event could be better than all fucking five hours of that I'm not even gonna lie it was great the whole show was awesome to see. 
Next week it's going to be even better. Um, so this is the end of my Lucha Underground review. Face cam, let me know what you guys think. If I should bring this out, I've had it for like three years. I'm not going to lie, I really don't use it that much. I'm thinking about using it for tomorrow's TNA Impact review. Uh, maybe, I'm not going to be able to do the CWC finals tonight. Maybe I'll put one up tomorrow with a face cam as well, talking about the CWC. You know, if anybody wants to see that. But uh, let me know what you thought of the show. Like, subscribe, and comment. I am out. Thank you so much for watching.